Gerardo, congratulations. That's four wins on the spin now uh, for Knott's. Another win here this evening, but a real battle out there at times as well. Yeah, uh, we knew we'd dominate the ball. Uh, that's how we played this season, I think. And we knew they'd be dangerous on the counter-attack and they showed it in the first half. They had a couple couple chances. Sam pulled off a couple of good saves and we know we had to be alert. And as I said, we we worked hard, just needed to be aware of the counter. I thought we dealt with it quite well. They had a real mix of like speed and then the size of Inie Effiong out there for you to get to grips with. And often it was you getting to grips with Inie Effiong. Yeah, yeah. And that, you get all sorts at this level, you know what I mean? you got the big and strong, small and quick. But we we prepared well for it. We knew what was coming. And I thought, as I said again, we, we, we dealt well with it. Does it feel like at the moment, there's, when you momentum is such a, a big deal in any sport, but when, when you've got that kind of momentum, that kind of confidence, does it feel like so long as you keep doing what you're doing, eventually time will tell and, and pressure will bust those pipes? Yeah, we're uh, in training, the intensity is high and the gaffer demands that from us. And obviously we're doing a lot of 11 v 11s. And as he says, we're, we're playing against the second best team in the league because the intensity is so high. So when it comes to match days, we know what we're doing inside out. And as you said, when you've got momentum, it just becomes second nature to you. And then, you, I think you can tell out there on the pitch that everyone's just bouncing off each other and we're doing well. How do you, because um, obviously when things are going well, everybody wants to be involved. So how do you kind of deal with the idea of you were brilliant here, like a midfield masterclass against Solihull, and then you're on the bench at Dagenham, and then you're back in the starting 11 this evening. How, how do you deal with it? Uh, listen, the gaffer, it was tactical change, and I believe in the gaffer. I've always said that I believe in gaffer, and I think the fans do, everyone does. and. I'm there wherever I'm needed. Uh, needed, Like I've said before, in midfield, at the back, up front, I, I don't care, I'll play. And I was on the bench against Dagenham, but Jim O'Brien came in and was arguably one of the best players on the pitch. So I've got nothing to say about that. And I've come back in today. I've had to do my job again. And I'm just happy that I did and the whole the whole team did. Yeah, and the results speak for themselves. It's tough to go to the manager and be like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, have you got a preference of where you want to play? That midfield role, that central defensive role? I know you, the answer you could give me is, well, I'm just happy to play anywhere I'm needed, but I just wonder. Uh, I do prefer the midfield. <laughs> I don't mind it, but as I said, uh, Aidan's obviously come out of the game today and I've joined in and... I'm happy. I just long, as long as I'm playing, I'm happy. That's all it is. But you, I do how, prefer midfield. Sorry to interrupt. No how are you finding the step up in, into the National League? You look like you're taking to it pretty well. Yeah, no, I did. Uh, there's obviously a bit of a difference from coming down, but I think we played a couple of teams in this league in the FA Cup last season and I thought that I could play in it. Uh, I believe in my abilities. I'm not short on confidence and I think you can tell when I'm playing on the pitch. So... Yeah, and Maka, Keds, Sammy, I think the, the league below us is quite good, but people don't see it as much and they don't believe it, like what uh, what he said about it. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm dealing with it well. Yeah, there's clearly something in it. We talk about your marauding run um, for, was it, I think it's the second goal, uh, when you stand the ball up to the, the back post. For how long on that run were you trying to actually shoot? <laughs> yeah, it opened up for me. I thought the space <laughs> opened up, I kept driving and then the fullback kind of came in dived in a bit and I thought I'd take it one more and then I thought if I shoot he might block it uh, so I thought I'd hang it up and then it, Keds and Mac are always going to be there <laughs> one of them's always there and thankfully there was and they tapped it in and I don't really mind if I score a assist as long as we're winning I don't, I don't really care There's a lot to be said for that isn't there that confidence that if you put the ball into a good area one of them's going to be there Yeah we literally bombarded the box I think you see first half as well we're getting balls flashed across the box and Keds is there Mac is there like the keeper spilling it we're trying to nick it in and that's what they are, Fox in the boxes, they're dangerous players and we're glad we just got them. It's early days, but does it feel like something is building here? Yeah, we, we just need to carry on, we don't need to get carried away. Uh, it's a strong league, Ev everyone knows that and I think the consistency is, is the thing that gets you out of this league and hopefully we can uh, continue to do that. Carry on and don't get carried away, I like that. Well done tonight, thanks Thank for your you. time, appreciate it.